Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the last tutorial with the selective coloring using the layer mask. I thought that's, I think that's a pretty cool effect. And I hope you like using layer masks because we're going to do something different with layer masks during this episode. I'm going to show you how you can use an image as a texture on your text in GIMP. Okay, so I've got GIMP open. Let's go ahead and create a new file. And we are going to make it a black background. So I'm going to use a background color. I have black selected as my background color right now. Okay, and maximize that. And now we're going to open up the image that we want to use as our texture. And we're going to open it as a layer. So, let's see. Yeah, here it is. It's the same image that we used during the la in the last tutorial. Okay. So, and I'm going to move this layer down below our black layer. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this back to black and white. I'm going to put white up here as my foreground color. So what we're going to do is we're going to create our text. And I'm going to select my black background right now. I'm going to select my text tool. And I've got my text set for white, my foreground color. And we're going to use Impact Condense. And I'm going to put it all in caps. And we're going to type in Layer Mask. And then I'm going to uh, select Control A to select all the text. I'm going to go up here where it shows the size. And I'm going to make that much larger, 390 pix 390 pixels. Okay, so I'm going to grab my Move tool over here, and I'm going to move my text up. And now I want to scale it a little bit larger, so I'm going to go to the Scale tool up here. I'm going to make it a lot taller. And then I'm going to make it a little bit wider. I want to almost fill up the entire width. I'm going to say Scale. I'll grab my Move tool again, move my text down. And as you can see, it's it's almost the entire width. All right, so I'm going to go to my I'm going to select my black background here, and I'm going to temporarily change the opacity on it so I can see my image layer, because I I you know that's going to be my texture for my text. So I want to make sure that I've got my text positioned properly. I think I'm going to move it up just a little bit more, and I think that's going to look pretty good. I want to get this guy's face in the text. All right, so let's move that opacity all the way back up again. All right, so I've got my text layer. I got my background. I'm going to grab my text layer and I am going to merge it down to that black background layer. Merge it down. So, and I'm going to change the name of this to text mask. Okay. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to add our, our layer mask so that everything is opaque except for what's inside the layer here. All right, so how I'm going to do that is I'm going to go up here. I'm going to select my color tool, and I'm going to select my white text, and then I'm going to invert that so it selects everything but the white text. So I hit Control-I, and so now everything in that layer is selected except for the white text so my entire black background is selected now i'm going to go back to my text mask layer here i'm going to right click and i am going to select add layer mask and i'm going to use the selection that it has here and i'm going to add that and now as you can see everything that was selected is my mask which was my black background and now you can see the image below the text so the image is filling up the entire color of the text so I'm gonna hit control a control uh, shift control a to deselect everything all right now what I'm going to do and I'm down to two layers right so now I'm going to take my text layer. Oh, I'm going to head. I'm going to head and I'll apply this layer mask. Okay, don't forget to do that. So I've applied the layer mask. 
Now I'm going to take my layer mask and I am going to merge it down to my image layer that I'm using to fill my text up. Okay, so I'm going to go merge down. All right, so I've merged every everything is in a single single layer there now, and the only part of the image that you can see is in the text. Now what I want to do is I want to separate my text from the from the the black background. I want I want everything to be transparent except for the text so that I can export that and I can use that to composite on a on a completely different image or a completely different background. Or as long as, as long as I make it transparent, I can go back in here, I can add a layer and make the background any color that I want. But I want to keep the I want to export the text completely transparent. All right, so I'm going to go up here to my color tool, my foreground color, and I'm going to select a select a, you need to select a color that you do not see in your image anywhere. Okay, so I'm going to select this plum color here. I don't think that there's anything in my image that is using that color. If you find that you select the color and then then when you select by color and and something in your image is selected at the same time as the background, choose a different color until you find a color that does not match anything in your image. Okay, so now that I have this plum color selected, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my bucket fill tool and I'm going to fill my background with this plum color. And you notice that I've, the black, the the cutout part of the A is still black. The upper part of the D, the in, internal cutout of the D is still black. And the A over here is black. So we also need to fill that in with the plum color. So I'm going to fill in that. Everything that I want removed from the image, I'm going to create, I'm going to make this color. So that part of the A that needs to be cut out needs to be that color. The upper part of the D needs to be that color. And this upper part of the A needs to be that color. Okay, so I think I've got everything selected now that needs to be cut out of the image so that all I'm left with is my text with my image texture. So now I'm going to go into my color select. I'm going to go to my tool options here. I'm going to make sure that my threshold is set for 0, 0.0. I don't want any, I want, I don't want it to select any variation of the solid color that I've just put in here. So now if I use my select by color tool for my plum color, you can see that everything except for the text is selected, even the cutouts that I colored the same plum color is selected. So now if I select delete, now I have my text completely separate from the image, from the background, from everything. So now I'm going to hit shift control A to deselect everything. And now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to go back to my layers here. Uh, what I want to do is I want to crop this. So I'm going to go up my crop tool. I'm going to start up here in the corner, and I'm going to pull up the entire width. So if we go to our tool options here, you'll see that the size right now is 1920, which is the size of my image. So I have it the full width. I'm going to make sure I've got it all the way at the top. I'm going to bring the bottom up just a little bit. It shows that I've got it set at 1920 by 598. So let's just make that 600. So I've got my my um, my image when it's cropped. It's going to be 1920 by 600. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to crop that. Okay, and if you look up here, it shows you it's 1920 by 600. So I'm going to go to File. I'm going to select Save As, and I'm going to name this um, GIMP. Let's take off my cat block. GIMP. Eh. <laughs> if I could spell layer mask I can't spell I can't keyboard mask to text all right I'm gonna save that and then I'm gonna go with file and I'm gonna say export I'm gonna export as PNG it's already got it selected for me you could always just type in PNG as your file extension and it will save it as a PNG file so I'm gonna export that export all right, now I'm going to bring up my file manager. And just to show you, let me see where I, where's my text. Uh, GIMP, 
layer mass number two text PNG. Okay, so if I bring that up, you see all everything, the text is completely transparent with the image, um, the image texture that I that I created in it. And I think that is a really cool effect. And so now that I have the text completely separate from everything else, I can use it to composite in another image. So it's a very, very cool effect, guys. Uh, um, that's a that's a wrap on this episode. Stay tuned, and I will see you in the next episode.